Pimp, pimp, pimp was the character, and Bun was the uh, uh, vocalist, the uh, rapper. I'll put money on Bun B today against any rapper out there. Like Bun is my guy when it comes. You'll put him against Jay Z all day long. I'll wipe him off the floor. You put you him know, against wait a minute, wait a minute. You know floor. that. You know that. Not even close. Why, how do you feel? Okay, call so Jay Z. Okay, call wait a minute. Tommy you got twenty five thousand dollars all day, and you and, and you got to bet your money on Jay Z or Bum B going into this booth to do a new creative song today. Who do you put that twenty five? Bun all day. Why? I've you got to explain that to so, me. So so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. How did you end up even, you know, the DJ screwed, I mean, just that whole uh, movement. How did you end up even in the midst of it and embracing it? So, what? there was this place called Southwest Wholesale. Yeah, for sure. And they were right in our backyard. Okay. And oh, okay. so, uh, you know, I was with a group called Thugs of Another Kind. It was me and two other white guys. How okay. old were and, you? Um, this was right when I was 18. Okay. And I wanted to say we were going to be the NWA mm. of white guys, but <laughs> really you can't be NWA and be three white guys from the suburbs. <laughs> like, what are you going to be mad at? Like, mom didn't give me my allowance this week, bro. <laughs> like, I can't go get my shoes. But no, on, you know, on the real. Uh, so we put out that one album and that album didn't do well commercially, but we were able to sell 5,000 units out of the trunk of our car. Wow. Wow. Which led us to know that, hey, listen, if you hustle, you can make money on this. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, we were blessed to follow Kiki on tour. But who introduced me to Screw was Hawk. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I had met Hawk. Uh, and after, you know, the idea of the country rap tune came about, our first instant reaction was, well, we got to get Pimp C and Bun B on. Mm -hmm. Wow. But at that time, they had just got off a of big Pimpin. And, you know, Mama Monroe, she was all about her business and her babies were getting 25 a piece. And that just wasn't in my budget at that time. Right. I would more than happy have sold everything I had just to, you know, get them on a bar, you know, whatever. Mm. Right. Uh, but at the time, it just wasn't in our budget. And so, you know, we respected Mama Monroe and Pimp and, and Bun. And the obvious next choice was Hawk. He just had that country draw. He, he spoke country. He talked country. He walked country. Uh, and so when we got Big Hawk on the song... Time. Take the game to another. He introduced me to basically everybody in the club, wow. like Pokey and DJ Screw and everybody. And so that's how the country rap tune ended up coming about. It was basically because of Hawk. You the best kept secret, uncut and raw. All this country western rap, they ten steps and raw. So country rap tune, you know, you heard Pimp C say that. Was he, did he say it before you guys or after you guys? So he's the one that indoctrinated the whole thing. This is his thing, right? I just got the blessing. All right. That was it. You know, I had a long, long, you know, sessions with Pimp, learning how to produce, learning music theory from Pimp C, which is mind blowing. You know, here this guy was so talented at his craft. He studied other greats like he would tell me about the Beatles and how they would do a, you know, a, a hook. And then a short verse, eight bars, and then another hook, and then another short verse. And he's like, toe down, don't do 16s no more. You need to do 12s and 8s. Bring back that hook back in. And this was a guy that, this was my Run DMC, you know? Mm -hmm. My brother grew up on Run DMC. I grew up on UGK. Right. Well, it just, it's, it's crazy that you say that because we just had Bun on, and Bun said that when they did the uh, the Get Throat, he only, let, he only prepared... For 12 bars when Jay-Z rapped. It makes sense when you say that. And then you look back at the big pimping. Pimp C only did eight bars on that song. He So you, what you're saying lines up with exactly with what he told you. And if you were in the industry at the time and you got to hear the Bun B verse before Pimp got on it, Bun B actually had a longer verse on there, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Jay-Z went back and he added the Pamela Anderson Lee and all that after the Bun verse, right? Okay. Kind of, you go back and have to put another verse on this now. It's just it's just too much. <laughs> and then when Pimp C came on the song, it was just a rap. Pimp, Pimp. Pimp was the character and Bun was the uh, uh, vocalist, the uh, rapper. I'll put money on Bun B today against any rapper out there. Like, Bun is my guy. When it comes You'll put him against Jay-Z? All day long. 
Oh, wipe him off the floor. You put you him know, against wait a minute, Scarface. Wait a minute, wipe him you off the know floor. that. You know that. Not even close. Why, how do you feel? Okay, oh, so Jay Z. Okay, wait a minute. Tommy you got twenty five thousand dollars all day, and you and, and you got to bet your money on Jay Z or Bum B going into this booth to do a new creative song today. Who do you put that twenty five all day? Why? I've you got to explain that to so, me. So, so we had one of the first all digital studios in, in Houston. This is circa two thousand two thousand one. Uh, Bun blessed me by doing an E40 record at my studio, which gave me one of my first gold records. Okay. I've seen Bun go rap a verse that he was featured on. The other guys had already laid their verses. After they hear Bun, hey man, erase that. I need to go rewrite this. Multiple times. Wow. Multiple times. The way that Bun is able to articulate his vocabulary and words was just unseen and unprecedented back then and still today. Well, it's Bun B, bitch, and I'm the king of moving chickens, got them finger licking, sticking niggas that be tricking, you need a swift kick it. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say about um, Scarface? Uh, Scar that's Cause there are a lot of people say that he's one of the best. Ghetto niggas remain vibe. All the killers remain sap. Niggas trapped with both eyes and ain't smile. So, Scarface, I hold in a different light. I okay. hold him as a founding father, okay. right? Where Bun B was more of my, uh, I don't want to say my peer, because he's not, you know, we're not that close, but uh, he was a lot closer to me than the Scarface music that I had grown up on. Go PD, they getting some way if they see me. My nigga, that's how these G's be. We three, me, C, and Master P. Mm -hmm. You know, Scarface, when you talk about Texas rap, Scarface is at the top. Hey, today must be my lucky day. I turned the corner, hit the block, and seen that ass from a mile away. Mm -hmm. On almost everybody's list. Mm -hmm. But when I'm talking about just plain lyricists, time and time again, consistency, consistency, a bun. I can't really make that argument with you because I'm so Texas. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, Scarface is, is, is a, he a storyteller. Bun is a, a lyricist. So you, you're right. They, they do rap two different types of rap, but face hard too, man. Don't give Give it up for the invincible. It's H Town's finest. The GB, the general. The street shit, the timers. Get me wrong. Mary Face Jane is hard to Mary, make. Mary Jane is still on my playlist to this day, right? Yeah. No doubt. But you go listen to Outcast Tough Guy. Where he talks about call Tommy, I'm the I'm the Messiah. Just the way he flips that pattern and that cadence, the whole thing. Just I'll put that verse against anybody's verse. Like he's one of the coldest MCs out there. Man, I agree. I agree. When it come to Bun B, man, like I said, I grew up on that. I'm a PMC. That's my greatest of all time. It, it, and it don't matter about what you do. If he come in that room to rap with you, when PMC was doing it. And he he going it's gonna be something he gonna do that's gonna steal the show every time. And listen, though, I did you hear what I just said? He, you know, it, you may do whatever, just like when he pull up with the mink with with Jaina. He gonna always steal the show. TV ain't got no temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.